How awesome is it to be together? So seniors, you're on the floor. We love you guys. Just give yourselves a hand. Please rise as we begin Mass. and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Clothe us, Lord God, with the virtues of the heart of your Son, and set us aflame with his love, that conformed to his image, we may merit a share in eternal redemption through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the beginning of the book of Ruth. Once in the time of the judges, there was a famine in the land. So a man from Bethlehem of Judah departed with his wife and two sons to reside on the plateau of Moab. Elimelech, the husband of Naomi, died, and she was left with her two sons, who married Moabite women, one named Orpah, the other Ruth. When they had lived there about ten years, both Milan and Chilion died also, and the woman was left with neither her two sons nor her husband. She then made ready to go back from the plateau of Moab because word reached her there that the Lord had visited his people and given them food. Orpah kissed her mother-in-law goodbye, but Ruth stayed with her. Naomi said, see now, your sister-in-law has gone back to her people and her God. Go back after your sister-in-law. But Ruth said, do not ask me to abandon or forsake you. For wherever you go, I will go. Wherever you lodge, I will lodge. Your people shall be my people, and your God my God. Thus it was that Naomi returned with the Moabite daughter-in-law Ruth, who accompanied her back from the plateau of Moab. They arrived in Bethlehem at the beginning of the barley harvest. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise the Lord, my soul. Praise the Lord, my soul. Bless is who he helps is the God of Jacob whose hope is in the Lord his God, who made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that is in them. Praise the Praise Lord, my, the soul. Lord my soul. The Lord keeps faith forever, secures justice for the oppressed, gives food to the hungry. The Lord sets captives free. Praise, Praise the, Lord, the Lord, Lord, my soul. soul. The Lord gives sight to the blind. The Lord raises up those who were bound down. The Lord loves the just. The Lord protects the strangers. Praise the Lord, Praise my soul. Praise the Lord, my soul. The father lifts in the widow he sustains, but, but the way of the wicked he thwarts. The Lord shall reign forever, your God, O Zion, through all generations. Alleluia. Praise, Praise the Lord, the Lord my soul. My God, guide me in your in your truth.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When the Pharisees heard that Jesus silenced the Sadducees, they gathered together, and one of them, a scholar of the law, tested him by asking, Teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest? He said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest and the first commandment. The second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. The whole law and the prophets depend on these two commandments. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today we remember St. Pius X, and his motto is our motto this year, restore all things in Christ. That's the motto that we took for this year. And this is timely because if you look around, if you look in the news, if you read the newspaper, if you watch the TV news, you can see a lot of bad things happening. Even yesterday in Albuquerque, even in days before in Albuquerque, so many bad things happening. And even around the world. Well, I got news for you. There was a day many years ago that everyone thought was pretty bad. All of the followers of Jesus Christ saw him crucified. And that was bad. They thought that was it. There's no other place to turn. The one we thought that was going to be our savior is lying there dead. But Jesus did not stay dead. He rose from the dead. And he showed us that he is the way, the truth, and the life. And Jesus shows us that he is who he says he is. And that's what Pius X was trying to restore. That it's Christ that we need. That it's Jesus Christ who can restore all things. Jesus, who loves us so much that he went to the cross for us. People have trouble believing that God loves them. In fact, there was a story that I read recently. It was a classroom in a Catholic high school. And the teacher had a long blackboard. And on one end of the blackboard, the teacher wrote, I believe in God. On the other end of the blackboard, he wrote, I do not believe in God. And he said, OK. Choose where you're going to stand. And so the class had to pick where they were going to stand in that timeline on that board. Were they going to stand under, I believe in God, or I do not believe in God? Well, the majority of the class picked, I believe in God. And they were standing in front of that. And there were a few that said, I do not believe in God. I said, OK, everybody sit back down again. And he erased the board. And he put something else on the board. On one end of the board, he wrote, I believe that God loves me. On the other end of the board, he put, I do not believe that God loves me. And he waited. You know where most of the people ended up standing after the second time? Most of them said, and they stood under the part that said, I do not believe God loves me. And this is what needs to be restored. Remember 
that just because somebody follows God, it doesn't mean that everything is perfect in life. Sometimes there are going to be challenges. Sometimes there are difficulties and there are defeats. There are pains. There are sufferings, even for those who love God. And God loves all of us. Many are suffering right now. Many are not sure if God loves them or not. It's my job to remind you that God does love you and he went to the cross for you. And he loves you just the way you are. God loves you and he wants the best things for you. He wants to be with you forever. Trusting in God's love and mercy for each one of us, we offer our prayers and petitions. For those who will be ordained this year, may the Holy Spirit abundantly bless their ministry. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For national leaders, may the goodness of God guide them in their policy making and decisions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the imprisoned, may God move the hearts of the guilty to repentance and console the wrongly convicted with strength and grace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our community of faith, may God's grace at work in our lives allow us to bear fruit for the kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, especially those that are part of the St. Pius family, may the angels welcome them to paradise. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O oh God, who to safeguard the Catholic faith and to restore all things in Christ, filled Pope St. Pius X with heavenly wisdom and apostolic fortitude, graciously grant that following his teaching and example, we may gain an eternal prize through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. You may be seated. brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, Father of mercies, who because of the great love with which you loved us, with untold goodness gave us your only begotten Son, Grant, we pray, that being perfectly united with him, we may offer you worthy homage through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For raised up high on the cross, he gave himself up for us with a wonderful love and poured out blood and water from his pierced side 
the wellspring of the church's sacraments, so that one over to the open heart of the Savior, all might draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her through the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. 
as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Thus says the Lord, let whoever is thirsty come to me and drink. Streams of living water will flow from within the one who believes in me. We will have Holy Communion at the end of our Mass today. It will be at the end. Just as the Archdiocese did during the pandemic, you will receive Holy Communion on your way out the door. If you are not Catholic, or if you are not receiving today, you may hold your arms in the sign of a cross like this, and we can give you a blessing as you depart. Let us pray. Made partakers in your sacrament of charity, we humbly implore your mercy, Lord, that we may be conformed to Christ on earth and merit to be co-heirs of his glory in heaven, who lives and reigns forever and ever. And now I'd like to call forward Dr. Rothweiler. We have some presentations to make. You may be seated. Good morning, everyone, and welcome back one more time. We're at the end of the first week, and you've all done a great job this week in wearing our masks, and I know you're happy to be here. I know your parents are happy that you're here. We want to keep it that way. One thing before we get started here on our presentations is I'd like to introduce to you our deacon, Deacon Tim Parker. He is the deacon at, at Risen Savior uh, Parish, but he is also our business manager, so he is part of our faculty. So please welcome Deacon Tim. You'll see him around campus, but you know where the business office is, so that's where he hangs out in there. Also, I want to thank Sister Rena for, for substituting for Mrs. Olguin this morning as our choir director. So thank you, Sister. All right. So today I'm going to turn this over now to Ms. Rodriguez, but we're going to honor our, our new um, uh, teachers and those that have been here for a while. 
and to, uh, we're doing a blessing of our and blessing our athletes also today. So I'm going to turn it over to Mr. Rodriguez right now. Good morning. Today we are honoring 23 faculty and staff. They'll be receiving St. Pius service pins. Um, as, you, as your name is called, please come up and take your pin from the basket that Dr. Rothweiler has. And if you'll stand uh, here in front and after that uh, recognition, you can go back to your seat and we'll move on with the next group. First, we have and for new year, uh, new teachers, new staff members, Orlando Cardona, safety team, Ms. San uh, Don C. D. Baca, counseling. And she's here. Come on down. <laughs> Mr. Nicholas Christman, social studies. Ms. Brandy Elizondo, Advancement. Mr. Andrew Kelleher, English. Dr. Annette LaRussa, Theology. Mr. Tim Parker, Business Manager. Mr. Jared Samora, Instructional Technology. Ms. Renetta Vallejo, Maintenance. Ms. Jessica Vasquez, Maintenance. And Mr. Daniel Wilson, Mathematics. These are all new teacher staff members. We welcome you to St. Pius X High School. Five-year PIN recipients. Mr. Steven Armijo, English. <laughs> Jocelyn Horth, Dance. Ms. Martina Reese, Registrar. And Mr. Bobby Wallace, Advancement Director. Seniors get to know Ms. Reese, remember, she's the registrar of transcripts. Ten years of service, one Arroyo, maintenance. <laughs> Eunice Jaramillo, business office. <laughs> Mr. Jordan Fine Arts, I know he's got with his mom. <laughs> Ms. Elisa Machtinger, social studies. And Ms. Ashley Turcott, Social Studies Psychology. I remember when we hired Ms. Mockinger, we stole her from Annunciation. It's a good, good move on our part. Twenty years of service, Mr. Alex Argon, maintenance. <laughs> And the last recognition is for 30 years of service. And these two gentlemen are phenomenal. I could go on and on and say things about them and the things that they've done for our school community, but just themselves and their presence being here, we appreciate it. Mr. Kevin Hilsey and Mr. James Penn. Thank you. So at this point, we would like to have everybody that's involved in a fall sport to please stand.
Almighty God and Father, watch over all of our fall sports teams, watch over all of our men and women who are representing St. Pius. May they always go forth knowing that God loves them and in their words and in their actions, in all they do, in their victories and defeats, may they spread the love of Christ far and wide. And we ask this blessing in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Let's give them a hand. At this time, I would like to call forward our extraordinary ministers of Holy Communion, and we will distribute Holy Communion at the entrances as you exit the gym. Remember, if you are not receiving today, cross your arms to receive a blessing. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Thanks be to God.